So I'm going to make this really quick. Um, so Alyssa Robinson, uh, Alyssa Robinson Ministry. The Lord has been pointing out certain things to me regarding her since her last rebuke about three months ago, I believe. And she was rebuked by me and another brother in Christ, uh, Sammy B for the light. And she was recently rebuked again by my sister in Christ, Christianos, friend of Yeshua, and also by me. The Lord has been highlighting Alyssa ever since I've known her, ever since I met her. And that was back in uh, July. And um, the Lord has just basically been revealing that she is... She is in deep divination and manipulation. And I'm starting to think he did not appoint her as a prophet. And her whole career of being prophetess Alyssa is a facade of the spirit that's operating in her, which is Leviathan and Jezebel. And she's a prophet of Baal. Um, she's been saying that the Lord gave her permission to say these things and he's been revealing things to her but i just find it quite odd that uh you know we prophesy in part and know in part and what i would say another prophet would also have confirmation that could be in the same state same city or a different country a different state like we prophesy in part and know in part but the thing with Alyssa is none of her parts is matching the prophetic community unless it's the same spirit operating in them that she's operating in and i sit here and i i, I look and the lord highlights things to me i went on her page i watched some videos i read posts and i noticed that her posts those were stolen words from a lady she introduced me to and another sister in christ too and i started noticing that all of this information she's getting about the 144,000 is a copy and paste. This didn't come from her. It, it did not come from the Lord because the Lord has been saying he ain't tell her to say certain things that he didn't give her that permission to speak. And it's very evident that she's not hearing the voice of the Lord because on one of her posts, uh, she said that World War Three will begin on December 25th of 2023. And I'm laying in my bed. And the Lord is speaking to me. Because I had a dream about her last night. And the dream was absolutely horrible. I will not even go into details about it. Because it was disgusting. And it was very disturbing. Like I don't even want to talk about that dream. But I went over to her page. And I noticed that she changed the information from World War III will begin December. No, World War III will begin on the day, December 25th, 2023. So I went back to her page and I noticed that she deleted it all. But thank God I screenshotted it. I, I, I got both of them because when I went back and checked this morning, she deleted that part. And I'm like... If you put in quotation marks, first off, she said it wrong. She said, this saith the Lord. That's not how you say it. That's not how you say it. It's thus saith the Lord. And she said, Abba gave her seven confirmations. And I'm thinking to myself, if the Lord told you something and gave you an ample amount of confirmations, why are you going back deleting what he told you? That lets me know that you're not hearing from Lord. You didn't have permission to make that post. And it's a lying spirit that you're hearing from you are in divination and i don't know what this girl got going on i don't know if she got married yet but before i cut her off she was in fornication she was smoking weed she was around the wrong people in a dream i had last night it's kind of confirmation that some of those things could still be going on but i'm gonna just let these videos play for themselves and you guys can see and not only that Touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. Alyssa, when you hear this video, you better get up on that platform and repent because the Lord is not done with you. He said he will bring you down.
You got up on your platform and you spoke against me, Christina, and Sammy and said, we are not hearing from the Lord. You were calling us witches and saying that what we was uh, getting didn't come from the Lord. But it's very evident today, the things that you post, you're the one that's not hearing from the Lord. My friend, you have a big problem. And the Lord gave you grace when somebody hacked your platform and deleted all of your videos, deleted all of your posts. The Lord gave you a clean new slate to start over and get it right. But because you did not heed to his warnings, he's going to make an example out of you. He gave you chance after chance before you left Texas. And I told you, I gave you a prophetic message from the Lord. The Lord said, sin is crouching at your door. And before you left Texas, I told you, do not neglect the secret place. Do not neg neglect the secret place. And I told you that because the Lord seen what you was going to do when you got back to your hometown. And just as sure as it was true, you got back to your hometown. You was having sex before marriage. You were smoking weed. You was you would call me and another sister in, sh in Christ and pray. And the Lord was revealing while y'all in prayer, this girl is high on the phone. We supposed to be fasting and you sitting here stuffing your face with food. Everything that you was doing, the Lord has revealed it to us. And I even asked you, I said, Alyssa, are you eating? And you bust out laughing and start saying, yes, oh my God, how did you know? And I told you because the Lord revealed it to me. So be careful when y'all out here going on, on fast uh, with people and you're not committed because the Lord will tell you. But I digress. I'm going to put this stuff in the video and I'm going to let you see who's the real witch, who's really hearing from God and who's not. Because she blatantly called me, Christina, and Sammy, witches and warlocks, and said, we are not hearing from the Lord. But it's very evident today that it's you. And everybody who's in agreement with Alyssa, the people that she was saying was in her video saying, oh, they're bitter, they're jealous. Y'all need to come to the front and repent because you are in agreement with witchcraft, divination, and Leviathan and Jezebel. Now, I'm not telling you to take my side, and I don't care if you took hers, but you need to repent for having a relationship with this young lady because you two are in trouble. Every one of y'all, every 1,092 followers, however many subscribers she got, 1,900, so I don't know, 1,000 and something, y'all need to come from under that because y'all are listening to a witch. Get out of it now. This girl does not hear from the Lord. She appointed herself to be a prophet. Those words did not come from the Lord. And I'm going to show you in this video how she spoke up against real watchmen, messengers, prophets, and prophetesses of the Lord. Alyssa, when you hear this message, you better get your butt on that platform and apologize. Just as loud as your embarrassment and your slander were, your repentance and your apologies need to be that loud. Because you put your mouth on the wrong people and said that we wasn't hearing from the Lord. But it's you. It is you. Why would you go back and delete something that the Lord told you? It's because you know the Lord didn't tell you that. And the Lord allowed me to screenshot and screen record to bring you down. You are a liar, a mass manipulator, and you are operating out of witchcraft. The Lord said, the month of December, there will be war. The Lord has let me know that China and Russia, they will send missiles and bombs to destroy America. This is a part of God's judgment. The Lord gave me the year, and the Lord said the year of 2023. The Lord said this month of December, this year, the Lord said that Russia and China will bomb the U.S. They are about to send missiles over to the U.S., you guys. Repent. The time has come where World War III will begin. Missiles and bombs will be set off. They will send missiles and the bombs that they have here in the U.S., things will be set off. This month of December, pray for your family. Pray over yourselves. Plead the blood of Jesus. Do not fear this message. God has you covered. I am posting this out of obedience. The Lord has spoke to me clearly. He has given me confirmation. 
when I was praying in tongues, the Lord said, hammer, hammer, hammer. He kept saying it over and over again. Hammer, 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 hammer. Hammer stands for judgment. God is bringing judgment upon this nation. Russia and China will bomb the U.S. this month of December. God has let me know there will be an EMP attack. God has let me know that nuclear bombs will hit America. God has let me know there will be blackouts in America. God has let me know that attacks are coming. God has let me know that New York will be bombed and they will have terrorist attacks. Terrorist attacks will start happening in New York. God has let me know that earthquakes are coming. God has let me know that tsunamis are coming. God has let me know that storms are coming. It's not just a judgment of war. People need to repent and come to God. We are living in the last days. We are running out of time. The Lord told me December. The Lord told me December. The Lord told me December. He said that war is coming. He said this month of December. He said 2023. The Lord made it known to me. The USA will be bombed. Missiles are coming. Missiles are coming. Missiles are coming. It will come out of nowhere. The Lord has let me know this. Take this message up with God. Repent. I am posting this out of obedience. I love the Lord. I will do whatever he tell me to do. He has been speaking to me about this stuff for a long time. Prepare. 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 The time is now. Stock up on food water, supplies, get clothes. If God has instructed you to leave America, leave. A lot of people are leaving America. God tells us in his word what will happen to Babylon in the book of Revelations. The Lord lets us know that Babylon will be destroyed. He lets us know in Matthew, there will be wars, in rumors of wars and that's happening right now and is a real in war right now we are living in the last days jesus is coming back soon very soon judgment is here judgment is here the lord said there will be war in the month of december in the usa the Lord said the year of 2023, December, war. Uh, Alyssa Robinson, you will be changed in the blink of an eye. You will be brought down soon. Everything is not what it appears to be. <sighs> Destruction is knocking at your doorstep. Misha, I need you to get a confirmation. This is the I need Koya, this confirmation when you said open rebukes, I don't know if the Lord is telling me that I have to do it. The Lord is showing me um the verse again that he pointed out to me of Jeremiah and he said basically saying they are going where I did not send them. They are prophesying lies in my name. Iti roko iti swift destruction. Iti roko iti aya. I have warned you. Iti roko iti aya. Iti ro. But because you refused and didn't take my wise counsel, iti roko iti destruction swift. Iti roko. I would laugh at your calamity. Iti ro. He's reminding me of proverbs. You will ask, you will beg, but will not receive. I will not allow my people to come into agreement. Demonic seeds have been sown. I will bring you down. It is a dangerous thing to say, thus says the Lord, when I have not sent you. Who are you hearing from? Ha ha Leviathan, Jezebel, liars and backbiters, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. Yes, what you have sown will be snatched away and given to my people. I will not honor your investments. Liars. Oh my gosh.
you wait in vain you will not receive a portion of my good lest you repent thus says the lord of hosts stealing 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 prophetic messages following the teachings of baal because you did not listen I will not spare the rod thus says the Lord mm. swiftly no more delay I had two dreams um I think the last dream I had this was probably like three or four days ago so I had a dream basically it was a friend right? But in the dream, it's crazy because it's one of the people I'm friends with right now, but I knew it wasn't her. You know what I'm saying? I knew it wasn't her. So basically, um, so basically my friend in the dream, um, she called me, but when she had called me, um, she had an evil spirit on her. She had an evil spirit on her. It was almost like she was, I don't gonna say like possessed or anything, but it was just like a, a very, very evil spirit. And in the dream, <clears throat> she called me and she was uh, telling me stuff. And she's like, oh, I'm going to blast you on the internet. But she was like a gossiper, a slender. She was more of a, she had an evil spirit on her and she didn't have the right intentions in the dream. Like she wasn't, you know, cool. So in the dream, I um I was just, it was crazy because the dream was short. So I called my friend. I was like, girl, I had this dream about you. She's like, oh my goodness, I've never. She, I was like, I know it was it like. You, were, you don't have an evil spirit on you, girl. I was like, I don't know what this dream means, right? In the dream, it was, yeah, that person was, like, very demonic. And it, it wasn't her, like, necessarily, like, meaning her, but it was meaning, like, somebody was going to do something, right? So today, somebody made a video. And I was like, oh, my God, I just had a dream that a, a, a friend that had an evil spirit and so i was like that's crazy that you know i had a dream and then that ended up happening and then basically i had a dream also four to five days ago i had or this was like literally four or five days ago before i had the other dream and i had another dream that i was in an airbnb i was in an airbnb and um when i was in the airbnb it was like all the 144,000 was in Airbnbs, not like nearly like not all of them, but like a good portion of them. And they were like, God led me here, and I was like, God led me too. So that was letting me know, like, you know what I'm saying, that other people that's part of the 144,000 they're on journeys. And I actually have a couple other friends that are on journeys, right? So in the dream at the end, I was standing up just like this, and I was standing up and I was receiving visions, and God, He was speaking to me in the dream. And he was letting me know things that were to come, right? And so in the dream, it was like, uh, how do I explain this? It was a, uh, it was a prophet, right? It was a prophet that was going to say something about me, right? A prophet was going to say something about me, but this prophet was like, oh, we're going to die, da, 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 da. But it seemed like it was like a man or something. And in the dream, God was speaking to me and he was letting me know, don't believe the lies of the enemy. Don't believe the lies of the enemy, right? And so um, I didn't get these dreams or whatever. I was like, wow, you know, I had these two dreams. And so, like I said, the last dream that I had is it was a friend, and she had an evil spirit on her, and she was just doing a whole bunch of different stuff, right? So, um, yeah, and I was cool. I was calm in the dream and everything. And so God, he was letting me know, like, people are about to come against you. People are about to come against you. So I was like, oh, okay, you know what I mean? And so I called my sisters in Christ or whatever. Um, we were all on the three-way call. And um, I called another sister in Christ, you know, and um, I told them everything would happen and stuff like that. And so we just, we all just start praying and everything like that. We're actually about to do a prayer call once I get off of here. So we all were going to go to pray. And another sister in Christ, she calls me, right? She calls me and say this word. There we go. She says, I, and I'm just praying for my enemies, man. Oh, my gosh. She said, the Lord said, um, read Psalms 35. She said, the Lord wants you to meditate on Psalms 35. 
And she said, this is what the Lord told her. Um, I had called her. I said, hey, girl, please pray for me. You know, people are attacking me. Da, 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 da. You know, they're speaking witchcraft words and curses and stuff like that. I was like, just keep, you know, please keep me in your prayers. And that's all that I told her. And then we ended up talking again. And God had actually given her a message while she was driving because she was asking and praying for me. And the Lord was giving her a word. And the Lord said, um, she said, the Lord said, word for word, she said, when they spoke against you, they didn't rebuke you. She said, they don't like you. She said, they did not rebuke you. Um, she said, when when she said, the Lord said, when you rebuke someone, you speak out of love, but God is not rebuking me. You know what I'm saying? He's not rebuking me. You know, he knows that I'm in alignment with him and everything like that. And so um, he's not rebuking me. <laughs> so that was also given. Because I'm like, God, did I do something wrong? I was like, you know, I'm putting my flesh to the side. And I want to hear what God is saying. You know what I'm saying? And not trying to. Lean on my own understanding. I'm like, God, what's going on? Did I do something wrong? What's going on? Because I was just so confused. I was like, what's going on? And the Lord was actually saying it was not from him. <coughs> so these people were praying for me, and people are still calling me and everything like that. And uh, Sister in Christ, she just messaged me, and she said, the Lord wants you to read Matthew 5. So I'm like, oh, my goodness. All these different people are messaging me, the same people I was telling them to pray for me, right? And so she said, the Lord said, I am hearing from him. She said, God said the enemy is using my enemy, or she said, God said the enemy is using my enemies against me. She said, the Lord said clearly, it's another test. She said, the enemy is trying to confuse me, so I won't put out prophetic messages. She said, the enemy wants me to think I will not receive a wealth transfer. And she said, the Lord said, they will eat them words of themselves. And then she said, they are stoning me. Um, as in, you know, you're not supposed to stone your brothers and sisters in Christ, you're not supposed to do that. And I was like, wow. And she kept continuing to talk. And as she was talking, she's like, I feel the Holy Spirit. And she was praying in tongues and stuff like that. She said, I feel the Holy Spirit. I feel the Holy Spirit. She said, the Lord is speaking. She was like, oh my God. And I felt God too. I'm like, oh my goodness, like what's going on? And so as she was already giving me a short message from the Lord, God was giving her even more. And it was, it was crazy. So she said, they don't like me. She said, the enemy comes like an angel of light. That's what the Lord said. And she said, the Lord said they were deceived. She said, the Lord placed it on her spirit. I'm not going to mention the people's name, but she said, the Lord placed it on her spirit that one girl couldn't wait to speak about me. The Lord said, this was already planned. And then she said, the Lord gave her a vision of people in Noah days. She said, how they laughed at Noah when he was building the ark. They said, we are so sorry. We came against you. We sorry we laughed at you. The Lord said, that's how, I'm not going to say her name. That's how that person was. She said, the Lord said, they are cursing their own self. So she was getting messages from the Lord and speaking as she was getting the messages. She said, the Lord said, they are cursing themselves. This is what the Lord is saying. She said, when they did a video about you, it was already on one of the person's heart to make a video about you. They already planned to speak about me. And, um... She said, the Lord said, I am hearing from him. The Lord said, the harder they come at me, the harder they will fall. And another sister, Christ, oh my God, because I just called, I called my friends. We all do group calls and stuff. And so they were getting messages from God. And um, the Lord gave her Isaiah, where basically where it says that Isaiah, the, serv the, uh, the servant of God, how he was basically, um, he was like permitted to, you know, speak and stuff like that. And God was giving him messages and stuff like that. And so that's the scripture that God gave her. And so I'm like, God, okay. And God put stuff on my spirit as well. And I'm just like, okay, God, you know, I said, this is no coincidence. All these people sending me messages. That's all right. I didn't even know God was going to give anyone a message. All I did was tell people to write for me. I was like, it's spiritual warfare. You know, people attacking me um, and everything like that. I didn't even like mention everything. I was just like, hey, please pray for me. And then they start sending me stuff. And I'm like, wow. And it's crazy because when they were sending me stuff, it was at the same time. <coughs> Meaning, like, it was two minutes apart. Like, one, one. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> and so the way he gave Matthew 5 where it says, uh, and seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came into him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, bless are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. And then, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be confronted. Blessed are the meek, for they uh, shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. 
Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain my sake, for their costly for my sake. I'm here to give an encouraging words to my brothers and sisters in Christ, is that when people speak against you, you have to, you know, you have to know that they're actually blessing you. When people curse you, those people are blessing you. When people speak horn things and speak wish type words on you, they're actually blessing you. And so what I'm going to do. So in this dream, uh, she interpreted wrong. Basically, um, the Lord was saying that he's giving her a warning that an open rebuke is coming her way. And the person that resembled her friend um, had an evil spirit. Uh, <laughs> this is this is some serious stuff. Alyssa, the Lord was showing you that he's going to bring you down. He's going to expose you and embarrass you. And in the second part, uh, you said that you were speaking to your friend uh, and she was telling you, I guess she wrote you a message and then you spoke to her on the phone or whatever the case be. But you were saying that she was telling you um, that we don't like you. We didn't hear from the Lord. It's witchcraft. Um, Sammy didn't hear from the Lord. I didn't hear from the Lord. Christina didn't hear from the Lord. Basically, everybody that rebukes you is not hearing from the Lord. Everybody that speaks against you is operating in witchcraft and divination. But it's very evident that you're not even comfortable with what the Lord is even telling you. Because if thus says the Lord and he gave you seven confirmations, you know, why would you, you know, delete certain things? And I just find it funny that, you know, today is Monday, December 25th, 2023, and there is nothing going on. Like... Are you sure that you're hearing from the Lord? Because I operate in my calling and the Lord don't do anything without warning. And he would have told you, me, Sammy, Christy, he would have told all of us that World War III was going to happen on December 25th. But like I said, I don't know what piece of the pie you're eating from, but it cannot be from the same pie that me, Sammy, and Christina is eating from. And no, I'm not putting us above you or putting you beneath us but at the same time i just really don't think you you're hearing from the lord like what part are you getting this from we prophesy in part we know in part but i'm just trying to see where are you getting your slice from it just doesn't make sense to me and i really need you to understand that nobody has a special hate for you nobody dislikes you but at the same time, you need to understand that you are creating a certain reputation for yourself and you putting yourself in, in, in a corner, in a box to not make people like you because you're saying that people are not hearing from the Lord. We're speaking word curses over you like you need to be careful with what you say. And before you say it, you need to have permission to say those things because you can be putting your mouth on somebody who just got upgraded in the spirit. And you may not want to put your mouth on that person because you don't know the mental that they carry. Be very careful. I forgive you of your ignorance because you you really speaking out of ignorance and out of your emotions. You're saying that Sammy is speaking out of his emotions. You're saying that people don't like you. You're making it very childlike and, and, and very immature. But it's not that people don't like you. We just see that you are a liar and you're hearing from a lying spirit. I don't like the spirit that's inside of you. Now, when I first met you, it was very genuine. But the Lord was like, hey. You need to back it on back because that one right there, you she got some things in her that you don't need to be involved with. So it's not that we dislike you. Even when you even when you getting kicked out the group of somebody's group, it's not that they don't want you there, but your presence is demonic. The spirits that you're operating in, hey, a spirit don't care who it hop on, just like a lie don't care who tell it. So with that being said. People are not going to want you around. People are not going to want to deal with you. It's not you as the spirit that you're operating in. But at this point, your identity is that of Jezebel and Leviathan. And don't nobody want to be around that. So before you make this personal, you really need to go look in the mirror and check yourself. Like, just really, like, don't even ask yourself. 
and this is just me speaking but you really need to go hit a fast and see what's really going on with me that i thought i heard from the lord and i didn't like what's what's really good stop looking at everybody like they're attacking you stop looking at everybody like they don't like you stop looking at everybody like they're bitter and jealous respectfully speaking Alyssa, you have absolutely nothing for no one to be jealous of and i say that in the most humble respectful way you have nothing for anyone to be jealous of or bitter i've only known you three months i never met you in person I don't understand how would you how you would really think that someone is jealous and bitter. I'm absolutely confused. But you know what? It is what it is. That's how you feel. I get it, but I do not respect it. But you need to really go repent. And the Lord... <laughs> The Lord extended his grace and his mercy. And there was a window of opportunity that you did not take advantage of. That's why you're getting rebuked again. That's why you're getting rebuked again. And before I even made this video, I asked the Lord, like I asked him the first time, Lord, give me the okay before I do this. Give me the okay before I do this. And he gave me the okay. I have permission to do this. I even have a phone call with you apologizing to me and saying, I'm sorry, I thought this, I thought that. But then you get on live a week and a half, two weeks ago and say that I'm operating in witchcraft and putting word curses over you. Well, why did you apologize? I could have uploaded that, but I'm not going to make this recording long because God know I got that recording. You know, you apologize and you know, I have, well, the Lord knows I have the evidence, but the point is, it's not about what I have on you. It's about you lying, saying, thus says the Lord. It's about you leading many people to hell because you are a liar. You got blood on your hands. It's not about Tamisha, Christina, or Sammy liking you. It's not about any personal things. Child, you are lying. Making a mockery of the Lord and the Lord will not be mocked. That's the most important thing. You're operating in witchcraft and divination and you got people following you. And the crazy thing is when I went to your page and looked on your post, you turned off all your comments. This is absolutely crazy. Go repent, Alyssa.